Hello, this is uh, Nagarajan working as an assistant professor in the department of electrical and electronics engineering in MAM School of Engineering, Trichy, aggregated by NAC, approved by AACT New Delhi, affiliated to Anoa University, Chennai. <coughs> so, in today's class, we are going to discuss about the isolation amplifier. Okay. So, whatever the topic we are studying, you please relate that one to our practical life. Okay. Don't take that one to very depth in technical. Okay. Whatever we are studying, the name is given after the normal thing. That is, for example, this isolation amplifier. What does we mean? What is that isolation mean? All of them will be aware of this isolation in this pandemic. Especially all of them, even an uneducated people start talking about this isolation, about this uh, quarantine. Okay, about this isolation that is quarantine in this pandemic. Okay, what is Quarantine means, quarantine is when a person is being affected by disease, take COVID, okay, COVID-19, okay, what we will do, we will make that person to be isolated from our family. How the isolation is done? We are... Uh, allowing the person in a, we are allotting a separate room for that person and all the belongings we are uh, we are not touching all the belongings of that person and we are not using any things of that person but anyhow we are having there is a small communication we are having a small communication okay it can be a oral or physical okay but how, how that communication is taking place? Through a door or a small opening. Okay, through a door or a small opening. Okay, so that is the link between the family members or to the doctors or to uh, some visitors to that patient. So here also isolation amplifier is an amplifier that isolates the patient from the power signal, power line. Okay. If it is not done, if this power line is directly connected to the patient and if there is any problem in the power line, then that will affect the patient directly. That will affect the patient directly. So, if that type of accident happens, then that is coming under hazards, shock hazards. That will spoil the name of name and the fame of that hospital. Therefore, a severe care will be taken in this isolation ward or ICU ward, whatever it can be special care. So how this isolation is happening in biomedical instrumentation. Okay. In biomedical instrumentation the isolation is happening okay. How this isolation is done? This isolation is done in biomedical instrumentation by two techniques that is transformer isolation and optical isolation. Transformer isolation is very simple in concept that is magnetically coupled electrically isolated. Okay, electrically isolated but magnetically coupled. Okay, so let me give a small example. You take two magnets. Okay with the same poles 
when both the magnets are brought together what will happen it repels each other and when opposite poles are brought together it attracts each other so there is an force there is an energy force acting between the two magnets okay so here also that magnetic action is taken place through the transformer okay i will i will say that one in detail in the transformer isolation next one is optical isolation optical isolation we all read about this optical isolation in non mechanical chopper amplifier okay there we had ldr and uh, uh, instead of ldrs we can replace with photodiodes or photo transistors so uh, so and so we discussed in the uh, in that section the same thing is going to this uh, discuss in this isolation amplifier now transformer amplifier okay so uh, this is so listen carefully this is uh, here is the subject and the signal is taken and that signal is amplified using this uh, power amp uh, amplifier and uh, that one is fed to the instrument okay signal conditioning instrument okay. and inside that we are having a transformer so this is a patient isolation transformer and this is the main transformer main isolation transformer so from the main that is 230 volt ac supply okay there is a transformer that reduces the voltage from 230 to 12 or 24 or even 6 depending upon the instrument operating voltage this one instrument operating voltage and that is again uh, given to the amplifier so pre amplifier and uh, instrumentation amplifier differential amplifier whatever the amplifier inside this okay so from here this signal is taken and that signal is transferred into the electric circuit and this electric circuit uh, do the manipulation of the bio signal and that is given to the patient monitoring system recording system display system whatever it can be okay so here you can see the uh, casing of the instrument and that is grounded okay and that is grounded but here also you can look at this grounding okay so this one is an uh, perfect uh, isolation transformer with uh, proper shielding okay why the transformer is uh, utilized the transformer will not change any voltage as well as frequency it will simply transfer the power from one side to the other side that's all okay hope you all understand about this transformer isolation next we will look after this uh, look at this uh, optical isolation okay so here is an optical isolation so if you look at this the, this portion this is similar to the transformer isolation let me show that one so here you can take this okay here also the leads are connected to the uh, amplifiers here also leads are connected to the amplifiers and this amplifier the power signal is transferred to this led okay this led will blink according to this uh signal okay according to the signal and that light is fed to the photo transistor okay so whenever the light falls on this photo transistor it will start conducting okay when there is no light it will turn off and when there is light and it will turn on depending upon the intensity of the light it will produce biased output okay so the proportionality is directly uh, maintained so this is the way of isolation done using this optical techniques okay so here modulator and demodulators are not required so we can convert the light directly into the electrical signal and since there is no any magnetic interference so there won't be any 
grounding also okay the grounding is also not required since we are not using any power line directly and we are not using uh, any magnetic field uh, field of sources okay hope you understand this uh, isolation amplifier thank you for your patient listening we will see in the next class thank you